In this video, we're going to be talking about how to find the area of a rectangular shape like this one using both a sum and a difference. So there are two different ways that we can find the area of this shape. We can add together the two different rectangular areas. So we can define this rectangular part as one area, and then we can add that to the area of this smaller rectangular part and that would be a sum. So we would add these two areas together. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So here we know that this side is six and that this side is seven. So if we separate this first rectangular area, we can say that the area of this is length times width or six times seven. So we would say six times seven is gonna be equal to an area of 42. If we look at the small part, we know that the length and width are both three, it's a square. So we can say that the area of that smaller part is three times three, so the area is nine. When we add these two together, we get a total area of 51, we'll say, square units. And remember that we found the area using a sum because we added together 42 and 9. So this was a sum. 42 plus 9 is equal to 51. What if we want to find the area using a difference? Well, remember that we really just have one large rectangle here. So we can think of this entire rectangle like this. And we could take that entire rectangle, find the area, and then subtract out this little part here that's not part of the area. So we could subtract out that small part. If that's the case, then we just say the area of the entire thing. So we know that length and width are six and 10 here. So we do six times 10. So six times 10 is equal to 60. That gives us the area of the whole thing, including this little part we have to take out. And then we'd say the area of this small part, length and width is three, they're both three, it's a square. So we'd have to remove three times three. So we say three times three is equal to nine. And then we would say 60 minus nine gives us 51 square units, 51 units squared. And in this case, we used a difference because we did subtraction. So those are just two different ways to find the area of this rectangular shape. You can either separate the area into as many areas as you need to and then add them all together, or you can find the area of the largest shape and then subtract out the area of any pieces that are missing. Either way, you can use a sum or a difference to find the area of a rectangular shape like this one.